Welcome back to the How To Series. Today, we are covering licensing for Virtual Smart Zone. In the description box below, we've included great resources to assist you, including links to our How To Hub. Be sure to check it out often as we are always updating the content. I'm already logged into the Ruckus Support Portal and our VSZ instance. As you work with your own licensing, you'll need to have your username and password for the Support Portal handy. I want to give you a quick highlight of what Lyman or License Manager is and does. With Lyman, you can bind licenses to serial numbers of devices. You can handle your licensing allocations or the licensing pool, which I'll talk about later. And you can even perform an RMA for virtual appliances such as Virtual Smart Zone if you need to move that license from one device to another. If you don't have a license, you should reach out to your local sales team to purchase one. I don't recommend contacting Ruckus Support to purchase licenses as they're not equipped to sell you them. However, they are available to assist you if you encounter any issues installing or activating your licenses. We are going to work with three different license types today. Once we've purchased our license or licenses from our local sales team, we should receive an email for each individual license that will look like this. This is our Virtual Smart Zone support license for a single instance. In order to activate the license, we click on the activation code. This link directs us to the license activation page, so we click the accept radio button and click on activate purchase. Lyman is informing us that we are not quite done. Now we can bind our license to our serial number. To do so, click on the product code. Let's grab our smart zone serial number. Navigate to system and general settings. Here is our serial number. I'll highlight that and copy it to the clipboard. Now back in Lyman, I'll paste our serial number into the bind to device field and click on validate serial number. Click on the drop down and select the admin SKU and click register device and bind. Okay, now let's get our RTU license bound. So we'll click on the activation code in the email. Within Lyman, click on the accept radio button and activate purchase. Once again, we'll paste our serial number in and click Validate. Next, click Bind License to Device. Next, I'm gonna show you how to add AP capacity licenses. These license types work differently than RTU or support licenses, but they're much more flexible. For example, if you purchase a 50 AP capacity license, you have the flexibility of adding 25 of those licenses to one of your smart zone instances and the other 25 to a separate instance altogether. This allows you to increase your footprint by purchasing one license pack and applying it to multiple devices. The way this works is by having our capacity licenses added to a pool within Lyman. Once the license is added to the pool, we can choose our desired quantity to be added to individual nodes or instances. Keep in mind that smart zone capacity licenses are only compatible with other smart zone devices. You can't use these licenses for other product types such as Zone Director or SCI or VSpot. Let me show you how it works. Now we can add our AP capacity license to the licensing pool, then we'll allocate that license to our smart zone. Here's our AP capacity license. Click on the activation link. This takes us back to Lyman. Here we'll accept the terms and conditions and then activate purchase. Great, now we see our license info and it gives us a good amount of information about it. Mainly we can see that our license status is active, but we can also note that the license is currently bound to the license pool. Now let's get into Lyman and allocate our license. I'm gonna paste our smart zone serial number into the field and search. This is our serial number, so I'll go ahead and click on it. Let's click on the plus license button. In the feature name field, select capacity AP and click search. Okay, this page shows us our license pool. We can see the add-on name, entitlement, expiration, available units and total units. The top line is our AP capacity license, so let's add one AP to our smart zone. Then we'll scroll to the bottom and click add license. Okay, the license is there, and we have two ways that we can add this license to our smart zone appliance. If our smart zone doesn't have internet access or firewall rules prevent us from reaching the Ruckus support portal directly, we can download the license locally and install it from our machine. 
We can do this by simply clicking on Download License File, and it will download the file into our browser's download folder. This method is also handy if we are traveling to a site or turning up a new instance. Our instance is connected to the internet, so we will use the sync option. In SmartZone, navigate to Administration and Licenses. If you downloaded the file, you can click on Upload and manually upload the license file to your instance from here. As we talked about earlier, we're going to use the Sync Now option. So when I click on that, the license syncs very quickly. We just need to sort by node to see our newly installed license. That's it. I hope this was useful and it makes handling licenses on your virtual smart zone product much easier. Before you go, be sure to check the description box below and access any of the great resources we've provided. Thanks for watching.